Cape Cast. Happy birthday, Alvin. The Deep Ocean Research Submersible, operated by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution and owned by the Navy, turns 50 years old today. The Alvin has made more than 4,000 dives, and its contributions to the scientific community have been invaluable. The Alvin surveyed the Titanic wreck in 1986, explored the first known hydrothermal vent in the 70s, and even located a lost hydrogen bomb in the Mediterranean Sea in 1966. CapeCast had the chance to meet some underwater explorers who've been inside the Alvin at a recent trip to Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. The pilot is essentially responsible for executing all of the objectives on the dive. To get to 2,500 meters, it takes roughly an hour and a half, and that descent is pretty active for the pilot. The pilot's monitoring emergency systems on the way down. He's making sure, again, that all systems are, are, are ready to go. Uh, he's dealing with setting up sonars and, uh, and tapes uh, to record all the video that we're going to be collecting during the dive. When you're down there, um, you first get in, it's pretty tight, and there's feet and arms and legs everywhere, and uh, you get pretty friendly with everyone. And you're in the sub, and there's this, uh, there's certainly this excitement to, to get to the bottom, and and uh, and this anxiety to get down there and get your work done. Again, you know, a lot of the scientists who come out with us have spent a lot of time working up to this point to get down to the bottom. Uh, many of them have never been down to the bottom, so they're obviously excited to see what it looks like down there firsthand. There's no sensation of moving as you're going vertically uh, through the water column uh, because you're literally just falling at about 30 meters per minute and in order to save energy to do as much work as we can on the bottom on the way down we keep our lights turned off uh, so you can look out the window and you're not going to see a whole lot it's just dark out there uh, but if you are paying attention uh, as you descend through uh, through the water column you do disturb uh, some microbiology and you get uh, you can tend to get a pretty good light show um, from these little things uh, and a thing called bioluminescence. So uh, it is pretty interesting. It's, it's just been a real joy to, to be a part of the group and, and operate the vehicle. So I am a scientist here at the Oceanographic Institution and I have been using Alvin for my research since 1986. And most recently, I was the principal investigator in charge of a major upgrade that was um, completed on Alvin uh, just at the end of 2013. I, th I think the highlight dive has to have been my first one in 1986, when I was on the cruise that discovered hydrothermal vents in the Atlantic for the first time. They'd been known in the Pacific since 1977, but there'd been a big debate about why they weren't in the Atlantic. And we actually found the first ones. And the other big discovery, although it's not my field, was the fact that uh, the community of animals is very different. It's made up dominantly of shrimp and anemones compared to the Pacific, where very often it's, it's tube worms and clams. So it was, it was a great discovery and uh, it was a wonderful first dive.